113, 1 Chronicles 26 to 29, David's final deeds and words. 26. The gatekeepers, the treasurers, and other officials. 27. Army divisions, leaders of the tribes, the king's overseers. 28. David's plan for the temple. 29. Gifts for the building the temple. David's prayer. Solomon acknowledged as king. The death of David. Point ponder. Compare the opening chapters of David's life with the closing ones, and you will come to a startling conclusion. David ends his life the same way he began it, with humble confidence in God. His final words to Solomon and the nation reflects the same wholehearted devotion to God that characterized the young shepherd in the patron of Judea. Day 114 2 Chronicles 1-4 to Solomon builds the temple 1. Solomon asks for wisdom 2. Preparation for building the temple 3. Solomon builds the temple 4. The temple's furnishings Point upon the a father's dream becomes a son's delight as Solomon undertakes the greatest architectural feat of his lifetime, building the temple in Jerusalem. With breathtaking speed, Solomon organized more than 150,000 workers and tons of materials to ensure that the task went ahead smoothly. Day 115, 2 Chronicles 5-8 to The Dedication of the Temple Chapter 5 The Ark Brought to the Temple 6. Solomon's Prayers of Dedication 7. The Dedication of the Temple 8. Solomon's Other Activities Point Ponder Solomon leads the nation in dedicating the newly completed temple to the glory and worship of the God of Israel. Kneeling on a specially constructed bronze scaffold, Solomon prays one of the most majestic and moving invocation found anywhere in the Bible. Lord, God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven or on earth. Day 116, 2 Chronicles 9 to 12. Israel rebels against Rehoboam. 9. The Queen of Sheba visits Solomon. Solomon's splendor and death. 10. Israel rebels against Rehoboam. 11. Rehoboam fortifies Judah. Rehoboam's family. 12. Shishak attacks Jerusalem. Solomon's son Rehoboam imposes a foolish tax increase, prompting a bitter division of his kingdom. On the verge of civil war with Jeroboam, Rehoboam obeys the word of the prophet and breaks off the conflict. But once his kingdom is established, he forsakes the law of God. Day 117, 2 Chronicles 13 to 16, Asa's reform. 13. Abijah, king of Judah. 14. Asa, king of Judah. 15. Asa's reform. 16. Asa's last years. Abijah is used by God to discipline and defeat Jeroboam, king of Israel. What Abijah accomplishes in the military sphere, Asa attempts to duplicate in the spiritual realm. He removes all traces of foreign religion from the land and commands the people to return to the careful observance of God's statutes.
day 118, 2 Chronicles 17 to 20, Jehoshaphat's reform, 17, Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, 18, Micaiah prophesied against Ahab, 19, Ahab killed at Lamoth Gilead, Jehoshaphat's reform, 20, Jehoshaphat defeat Moab and Ammon, the end of Jehoshaphat's reign. Jehoshaphat knows that the key to spiritual revival in the nation is a renewed interest in and commitment to the law of the Lord. He institutes a nationwide Bible study program using as teachers, the princes, revite and preach an effort which God richly blesses with peace and prosperity and preach an effort